Monmouth men's soccer victorious here on Sunday afternoon over the College, uh, college of Charleston, 1-0 on the Great Lawn. Coach McCourt, we really witnessed a really good college soccer match today. Back and forth action between you and Charleston. Why don't you talk about first the game from an overall perspective before we get specific? Yeah, Charleston's a good team, so we talked about getting a good start in the game. We've been kind of fighting the battle of getting off to a good start, and I know they've been looking to do the same thing. Uh, I thought we were very good in the first half, and we created a, a bunch of good goal-scoring chances. We scored a terrific goal, uh, and I thought we had a couple chances in the second half to put them away, and when you don't put good teams away, they have a tendency of coming back, and I, I thought our defense was resilient, but Charleston had definitely had some good pressure in the second half. And talk about the goal, Ryan Clark finding Edney Derrick on just a beautifully designed play, a great header. Why don't you just talk about that? Yeah, RC has great vision, and we've been talking about Derrick. We've been talking to Derrick about peeling off between the center back and the outside back, and he made a terrific run, and I mean, I think the ball almost hit him in the head, so RC's uh, pass was picture perfect. So it was, it was kind of what we've been working on, kind of what we've been talking about as a team, so it's nice to see him execute it. Coach, now as the season kind of transitions from those early non-conference games, we have NEC play right around the corner. How do you like your team moving forward? What form are they in? And, and what do you see from them going into league play? Well, we have one more non-conference game against Iona, which is an in-region game, so that's an important game. And we always look at one game at a time, you know. And after that, we play Quinnipiac, and that's our first conference game. And we'll always just go one game at a time. That's always been our philosophy since I've been here. And I think it's important that we only focus on the task at hand. You know, not to take anything away from Seton Hall, but I thought the guys looked a little bit further to College of Charleston, and it kind of it kind of stung us on Friday. So, you know, we just got to keep focused on one game at a time, and that's that's been the staple of our our program for for eight nine years now. So. Speaking and just one more question I have to ask it again, keeping a clean sheet here on the great lawn at home. Did a great job with that back line defensively. You've you have interchangeable parts in that back line. The the center backs have been the same it seems all season, but great contributions out of Matt Beverin in that back line and some other players and obviously Alex Blackburn doing the job again in, in net. Yeah, Blackburn's been outstanding. Not only a great player, but a great leader, and he kind of directs traffic in front of him. Uh, Yaya and Matt Jeffrey have been rocks. They've been the foundation of the defense. And Beverin has been outstanding. You know, since we've inserted him in at right back, he's been really good, not only defending, but he's been good in terms of getting the ball and, and getting out of the back, getting forward for us. Uh, and then we put David in. David had a little bit of an injury, and uh, now he's playing left back for us, and he's very, very difficult to beat. So very, very tough team to beat uh, in terms of our back four. Coach, congratulations on this win. Good luck against Iona and then with the NEC play schedule right around the corner. Thanks. We're looking forward to it. Here with Monmouth senior captain Ryan Clark after the team's 1-0 win on Sunday afternoon against the College of Charleston. Our RC, we spoke to Coach, and I asked him, I want to ask you a similar question. This appeared to be a really good college soccer match. Back and forth action. Both teams really not giving up anything. Had good opportunities to score. You guys ultimately do on your assist, but... but how was the game overall? It seemed to be physical, but also there's some good soccer out there today. Um, yes, it was a very tough game. Charleston's always top 25 every year, ever since I've been in college. So we knew it was going to be a hard game. We lost last night, and I heard they lost the Rutgers last night. So you can't afford to drop back-to-back -back games. So we're both a little desperate tonight, or today, and trying to get that win. So that's why it was so hard fought. You speak about the goal scoring chance when, when you were able to find Edney Derrick on, on really a great pass, and it just seemed as though their, their keeper had nothing to do with it because it was so well placed. What did you see on that play? Um, basically, Derrick made a great run, caught my attention. I saw him. We practiced all the time in practice, and basically, just routine, found him, and he did a great job to finish it. You know, winning here at home is something that you guys seem to do pretty regularly, but now you have three games on the road coming up, starting with Iona in a week, uh, or rather on Saturday. Uh, how important is it to not only get that one, but then you begin NEC play with two on the road in Connecticut? Iona's huge. Every year, just like I said before, Iona is always, it's always us one and two in the region. Every ranking, us, I, us and Iona, so it's huge. If we win this game, we're 6-1-1, one, one, coming in, going into conference play, that's huge. And always, once we'll start conference play, every game is a bloodbath, so... We're looking forward to that. You know, we spoke about it in our preseason preview with you. Your role now as a leader with some of these younger players, some of these players who are new to the program. Uh, they haven't gone through some of them NEC play before, and that was non-conference ends with Iona next week and then conference play. What's going to be your message to them as a captain? I'm basically going to have to get them ready because a lot of freshmen don't understand. Like, every NEC game is like that, every single one, down to the last play, last game of the year. So just make sure they know what's going on and basically pass the message on them before the non-conference season starts. Well, RC, congratulations on the win against Charleston and good luck against Iona. And then starting league play next week. Oh, thank you very much. That's Monmouth senior captain Ryan Clark. The Hawks victorious over the Cougars from the Ch College of Charleston, 1-0 on Sunday afternoon.